What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Ambitions Vapor. Today, I got a pretty exciting video for you. It's not really a full review. It's going to be uh, first impressions, build. Just going to do a little bit of everything, give you my first impressions on it. And it's on the one and only, the highly anticipated, the drop, Adia. By the Vapor Chronicles in Digi Flavor. Let's take a look at it. So the drop RDA was sent to me for the purpose of this video from Digi Flavor. Thank you very much. It will not change my opinion. The Vapor Chronicles Brian Herb. You guys know him. He's part of the vape team. Really good guy. He has his YouTube channel. I'll link his YouTube channel in the description for you guys. Definitely go over there and subscribe to his channel. He does awesome content. And not only does he do awesome content, he's a great guy. Uh, really good down to earth. Funny dude. Super funny guy. When I go on my little conventions and go to expos and stuff, I'm always looking forward to seeing Mr. Vape Chronicles, man. Because he is the... The goof of the potty, man. Really funny dude. So he's been working on the Drop RDA, as you guys know, for a long period of time. We hung out at the Atlanta Vape Expo back in about March, uh, April, March, April-ish. I think it was about March. And he had, I think it was maybe his second <laughs> or first or second or third rendition of the Drop RDA. And I took a look at it and I vaped on it really quickly. And uh, we had a quick little discussion in the expo with other people. He said he was working on some things. And he's done about six to seven revisions on the drop RDA. He's taken a lot of time and effort into this RDA. The style of this RDA is a POSA style deck that's raised. Kind of similar to the Dead Rabbit, the Obelisk RDA by Cartel Mods. Now, I kind of was a little bit too harsh on the Obelisk RDA review. I kind of, you know, said that they took ideas from Brian on the drop IDA, etc. But later on, it was confirmed that they were working on it at the same time. So, I do like the Obelisk IDA. I was a little bit harsh on that review. I make mistakes, you know what I mean? What we're going to do is we're going to dive down to the table. I'm going to show you the IDA. I'm going to give you all the specifications of the IDA. I'm going to put a build in it. We'll cut back up top, we'll vape on it, we'll talk on it, pros and cons uh, of, of the first impressions, okay? I'm going to be uh, very honest on this review. Uh, I'm not going to hold anything back, even though I love uh, Vapor Chronicles and Brian. Um, but, you know, the purpose of doing these is to be honest and, and give you my honest opinion. So let's just go do that. Let's dive down and check out the drop. Adie. So, we're at the close-up of the Drop Adie. Now, this isn't the package it's going to come in. This is a reviewer's package. It's definitely going to come in a retail uh, premium packaging. So, keep that in mind. You're going to get a bag of accessories with a 510 adapter, a tool, O-rings, a squonking 510 pin that's gold-plated, and you're going to get four additional flathead Grub screws. You're also going to get this Ultim drip tip. It's a little bit taller. Okay. So here is the drop RDA by the Vapor Chronicles in DG flavor. It says drop on the top. It has a uh, black and bottom, a black top and bottom and stainless steel AFC ring. Also with a goon uh, clear frosted uh, drip tip on top. Now, on the retail version, it's going to have drop RDA on both sides up top. On the retail version, it's also going to have two different types of post screws, okay? And the squonking 510 pin will not be a flathead screw style to avoid leaking. It's not going to be that style on the squonk, okay? Like the one I showed you in the bag... See that Phillips head? That's a Phillips head screw, okay? So you could get that one with the retail. It won't be a flathead. Nice uh, frosted 
drip tip. Okay, it's a little different. It's press fitted. Let's make sure our other goons uh, fit on here. As you can see, there's a clear O-ring in there as well. Hey, check it. I'm going to take my uh, favorite Half Moon mod. It has a very, very nice fit. So this is a 24 millimeter RDA. It's 26.5 millimeters in height to here. Okay. And it's going to come in two colors. It's going to come with the stainless steel in black or the stainless steel here in the black AFC. Okay. So those are the two colors. Both of them, they're going to have a two-tone look. And then you have the airflow um, bleeding from uh, pulling the top cap off. Believe that? We'll get into that in a second, but side direct airflow, and then you kind of have, uh, you could technically call this maybe bottom airflow, or uh, has it on both sides. The top ones are for side airflow, and the bottom ones go in between the posts under the coil. So it's kind of like under the coil action with side airflow. On the bottom it says drop by DG Flavor. Serial number. Okay, designed by the Vapor Chronicles. You have a positive and negative screws to take out both posts if you would like to do so. It is protruding. You can use that on a hybrid. Okay, good threads there. So, how the airflow works. You can turn the top and you can close down one, keep going, two on the top, three on the top, four on the top and then just have the six holes that are kind of like under the coil in between the posts then if you keep going it closes off another one closes off another one now you just have four then you have three then you have two just the two bottoms and then you just have that one hole in the bottom whatever you do to that side it will do it to the other side so if I back this out a couple ways Maybe four. You have four on both sides. And you can close it down completely. Okay? Maybe you want to put it in your pocket. You don't want it to leak. You have a bunch of juice in there. You can do it. Then if you keep going, it'll do one. It will Then it will start to open up the half side. Right? On both sides. Keep going. Right? And then you're back to fully open again. Okay? So there's a lot of airflow options on this IDA. Then it has this lip. As you can see, there's that lip there. That's to help it from the AFC turning and to also help the airflow line up directly where it needs to go. So I like how there's that lip. Let's pull the top off. One O-ring on there. Okay, nice conical design. And then you have the, it shows the airflow control, how it works. Now, I would just be careful. These are definitely very sharp. So <laughs> that's the one thing I, I wish they, they kind of, uh, you know, maybe just rounded these off or a little bit because they are sharp so just be careful of those when you take it off because it did uh, cut my finger open <laughs> somehow I don't know how it happened but it did as you saw the AFC ring that's just the inside there's a lip cutouts those aren't sharp or anything kind of looks like a T for Titan like a Titan T the airflow and here's the deck okay so it's a POSA style deck raised I love, as you guys know me, I love POSA style decks that are raised. I love POSA style decks, period. They are my favorite. Now, the reason why he did the post like this is that's why it's called the drop IDA. You can drop your coils into it. These are the positives. These are the negatives. Okay, you can take both out to clean them. They are both gold plated. And if you can see that, they are at an angle. There's a dip. It goes in and then it goes down at an angle. So there's openings behind the posts so that you can drop it in no matter how long your leads are. And you can clip them from under at an angle. I'm going to do a build, but 
can take your clippers and do the old clipper rooskies. You got two O-rings on the deck. Very nice. And then I have uh, flathead grub screws that are in there. Nice post holes. The screws are facing the correct direction because you're going to put your coils here and here. So your intricate leads are going to go flat against the back wall. They did the opposite on the Obelisk RDA by Cartel Mont. Okay. Uh, very deep juice well. It's about 8 millimeters deep. Very deep. Now the squonk pin's going to stick up inside of the deck a little bit. I'll show you that uh, right now before we do the build. Now you're going to have to, the only downside is you're going to have to get another tool. Or if you have a tool like mine, you can just flip it and get it off. Now, as you can see, that squonk pin is raised. I don't think it really matters either way. It's going to do its job. So let's get a closer look at the deck. Alright, so this is a closer look at the deck from this perspective. And uh, those are the flatheads. Let's take a look at the posts. Right, those are the uh, nice posts, nice distance. Okay, on this deck, you could do single, dual, triple, quads, whatever you would like to do. Now, do you see this angle here? There's an angle down and then down again, which is good to cut the leads and to also put your, your leads into the deck and have it slide out without pre-cutting your leads. You're supposed to be able to physically drop your leads in here without pre-cutting them. But there's one thing that I'm a little bit wishing was maybe a little different. Do you see this here? Let me see if I can back this out. Now, you see that? That's the contact. That's the contact that your coils are going to have to the actual post is this little piece here. Which makes sense because to open it to let the coils come down to cut it at an angle. But I do wish if it was possible, which I think it would be possible, if they made this portion just a little longer. So it had a little bit more contact because if you look inside, now if you look, you see that? You see how some of the Allen grub screw is actually showing on the bottom? Not a big deal. I just wish it had a little bit more surface contact area for the leads. Just it would make it, you know, maybe it would make it a little bit more conductive. Just want to mention it. Just want to show it. But what a very nice looking deck. I love the deck section on this. In this tutorial, I'm going to use some James Mucklin N90 2836 gauge aliens 0.12. I'm going to put it on a mech. Let's go. Hey, check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up.
We get back from the close up guys on the Drop IDA by Vapor Chronicles in Digi Flavor. I've been using this IDA for about a day. You know, at first, when I first saw the initial pictures of the final rendition of it, I was kind of a little bit skepti skeptical of the two tone look. You know, the stainless steel with the black with the black on the top and the stainless steel AFC ring or the black AFC ring with the stainless steel top and bottom caps, okay? So it is a two-tone look, but after like kind of looking at it for a while and building on it and vaping on it and putting it on different devices, I kind of actually like it. It is different. It's definitely a different style look. What do I got to tell you about this IDA? Man, this thing vapes phenomenal. I'm just going to help. Spoiler alert. This thing vapes, like, beautifully. The airflow is like a T. It kind of reminds me of, like, the Titans. Maybe the, the football team or the Titans, like, the T airflow. It's got airflow on the top, four holes on the top, that is, like, side airflow. And then it has six holes going down the middle of it that gets between the posts and basically kind of under the coil airflow action. It works tremendous. This has the greatest uh, airflow. It really does. It has phenomenal airflow. I can, I mean, you by vaping on it, you can really tell that Brian took his time on this. And by doing six to seven different revisions on it, you, you, you can tell. You know, he didn't quickly make this IDA. He didn't bang it out. He took his time on it. He put his love into it. And uh, so far, he's done a phenomenal effing job on it. The airflow doesn't make any noise. It's nice and smooth. It's one of the smoothest airflows I've used to date. Big pro on that. I'm going to give you pros and cons on a first impression. All right. So this might seem like a review, but I'm just going to give it to you how I'm going to give it to you. All right. Um, O-ring tolerances so far, just by getting a little e-liquid on them. Great. Great tolerances to the O-rings. Um, conical design inside the top cap. That's a good pro. All your goons will fit like I showed you down low of all the different goons that I have. I, I thought hopefully you guys liked that. Um, all of the goons fit. Big pro on that. It comes with a frosted goon tip and a ultim a little bit skinnier and taller. Um, make it a little bit more restrictive. It's going to take your mouth a little bit farther away from the top cap. You know? So that's cool that it gives you ultim and a frosted goon tip. I think the frosted tip does look pretty well with the stainless steel and black. Now there's a squonk pin that comes with it, big pro, gold plated, and it has a Phillips head connection on the bottom, not a flat head. I guess that's to prevent from leaking. You know, on a flat head it might seep out the sides. If you have a Phillips head, there's no there's no opens openings on the outside of the actual squonk pin. So that's going to prevent leaking. I you know, I never really had too many squonks leak on me, but they obviously did it for a reason. Um, I haven't squonked with this. I'm just giving you what the reasoning behind that is because you're going to have to use two different tools. You're going to have to take a flathead to take the regular post out and then a Phillips head screw, screw screwdriver to put the squonk pin in. The squonk pin does raise above the deck a couple of millimeters. It's going to still get into the deck. It's a nice eight millimeter deep juice well. Pretty deep. I haven't really got this to leak on me yet. Your coils are directly centered right below the drip tip. So you can drip. You know, I don't take the AFC ring off this just like the dead rabbit. That's a big pro. Okay. Now, there's flathead grub screws. In the re this isn't the retail version. This is like the reviewer's version. In the retail version, you're going to get flathead grub screws. You can get Allen key grub screws. The ones that I have in here, 
The ones that came with it were only flathead grub screws, but I like flathead grub screws. They work great. There's no burrs in the screws. There's no burrs in the post holes. Um, I don't think you're going to have any issues with them stripping, but I'm not sure. I haven't had it too long enough, so I'll have to come back with that with an update video if anything changes. Now, the screws on this are facing the correct direction. Okay, so if you put your intricate builds and your leads in there, it's going to go flat against the lead. Say that's the that's the lead of like an alien or whatever, a fused clapton. It's going against it that way. On the obelisk, it was the opposite. So it would actually twist your leads. I can't stand when things, my coil leads get twisted. I can't stand it. It ruins how it looks. I just don't like it. So that is a big, big pro on this RDA. Not too tall. It's it's a normal sized RDA. Um, the airflow, you can adjust it to have one. I mean, there's what? Four. In, there's 10 po airflow holes on each side. So you can close it from 10 to zero. You can have none of them open, 10 of them open, or every single open and closed or open depending on how you want to do your airflow. So there's a lot of airflow options on this IDA as well. I'm going to mention that as a big pro. So the airflow on the bottom, the six holes that are on the bottom go kind of in between the posts and up. The top four are just side airflow. The way I like it is I close off the, the top four and keep the bottom six on each side, so 12 open. Beautiful draw, beautiful airflow, beautiful flavor. I put the James Mucklin N90 uh, 2836 3 millimeter ID aliens inside of this for a dual coil. Comes out to a 0.12. These are great for mechanicals. These are the best alien coils I have used on a mechanical. They work beautifully. I have them on the Athena Squonk, a single 18650, and now I have it on the Resback dual 18650. No ramp up, beautiful. Great flavor on this. The flavor on this is just as good as the Dead Rabbit. Just as good as the Dead Rabbit. I'm just going to tell you that right now. This flavor on this, this and the Dead Rabbit are probably my favorite, as of right now, my favorite atomizers. It's not going to change. I'm getting tremendous flavor off this drop IDA. It's not going to change. Uh, you can put a single, a dual, a triple, or a quad coil. Now, quads are going to be a little bit difficult, but it is doable. You can technically do it. Plenty of room for your cotton to go down the sides. And then you want to do, like maybe you saw down low, I, I, I took a uh, just a tool in the middle and kind of went like that to make sure the cotton is against the walls. For post hole to post hole. You know, this air traveling. Okay, you want to make sure you do that. If you do that, you, can, you, you I get tremendous flavor off this, man. I really, I mean, this thing's got awesome flavor. You know, hopefully he'll come out with other colors down the road because this is going to be a high-selling IDA. I can tell. This thing's phenomenal. Hopefully it comes with more colors. Hopefully it comes with just one smooth single color like a Brian. Do like just a matte black or in a matte gold. I like, I love the matte colors. I think a lot of other people do as well. But come out with some solid colors down the road. I'd start probably working on that now, man, because <laughs> this is phenomenal. There's a good amount of airflow for people that love to cloud chase. I got it wide open. I like how the post holes are angled that way and then they angle down. So if you have really long leads like Coilology coils or James Mucklin coils, you don't have to pre-cut them. You drop them in and they actually will slide into the deck. And then you just put your clippers at an angle upside down, like I showed you hopefully down low that you saw it, and you just clip at an angle. They come right off. Easy peasy, what a sleazy to build on this thing, to cut your leads, everything. 
you literally just drop them in. Sometimes if you have extremely long leads, you might have to push it and then they slide and then you cut, do the other one, turn them in to the center of the deck. I look down, I see both coils, beautiful, awesome IDA. Um, I don't have any real gripes. The only one gripe that I have to this IDA is if you take the AFC ring, the top cap off, metal on the side that actually adjusts the airflow is, is really sharp. I actually cut my finger with it. So be very careful when you take the top cap off. It's super sharp. So maybe what they could do is kind of like just machine the edges a little bit just to kind of not make it so sharp. But that is the only con that I have to this. The O-rings are beautiful. The machining's great. Um, came squeaky clean. I didn't have to even wash it. Comes with two drip tips and it comes with a 510 adapter. So you can use any drip tips that you have. Big, big pro. 10 out of a 10 for flavor. It's gonna be able to match stainless steel or black very well. I would like to see this all one color. I think it would look really, really nice. There's also a notch on the, the bottom of the deck. So the AFC ring doesn't turn and it also lines up your airflow perfect. So it goes in between the posts. Phenomenal job, Brian. Phenomenal job, Digi Flavor. You guys knocked this out of the park. You can find the drop RDA at digiflavor.com. I'll put that in the description for you. And they also have a pre-order going on at the cloudyvapor.com. I'll put a link in the description to Cloudy Vapor and on screen that if you want to go over there and get on the pre-order, I would highly recommend to do so because this RDA is above the rest of the pack in the vaping industry. I'm letting you guys know that right now. I like the deck on this. I really, really like the deck on this. Um, I like the Dead Rabbit as well, but I would say that this one is a little bit easier to build on. Billy's my boy too, you know, but this one's a little bit easier to build on. You don't have to pre-cut the leads, you know. If a mugger stole my book bag and I was on a train and this was in it, I, I know it's first impressions, but I don't got to tell you guys. I'm, I would definitely go out and buy it. That's what I got for you today, squad. Hope you found the video helpful or informative. Hopefully you gained some information out of this that you need to consider subscribing. It's free content daily stay juiced up i'll catch you guys on the next one all right peace <laughs>